Joey Ortec Admin here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create animated titles in OpenShot. Now by default you're not going to be able to do this because this relies on Blender. If you get a new animated title it's probably going to give you an error saying Blender is missing. Um, so to download Blender we're going to go to our web browser and head over to blender.org. We're going to go to the download tab. We're going to scroll down. And if you're using a 32 bit version of Linux, you're going to want to select download this one. And if you're using a 64 bit, you're going to want to download this one. Once you've downloaded it, you should get a. Um, tar.bz2 like this you're going to want to extract it and you'll get a folder and inside the folder will be a lot of different files you're going to want to select all of these files go to your home folder put a control and an H to show the hidden files and folders and you're going to want to create a new folder called dot blender once you've done that um, copy the contents of the blender folder that you downloaded into this folder and then right click on the blender executable and hit copy. Now you're going to go back to OpenShot, go to edit, preferences, and you're going to right click on the Blender executable um, space there and uh, just paste that in there and it will paste the um, file path in there for you. So you're going to close that and now you can start working with animated titles. Clicking the animated titles um, option from the uh, drop down menu will give you this little window here where you can select between the different um, title types that are available and on the right side you can change all the different settings for them there's a, a lot of different combinations you can do a whole lot with this um, and this is what I, I use to create the um, intro for my videos and they're usually they usually add more every open shot release since they are based on Blender, um, a lot of people just make them um, for OpenShot and they're included with each new release. Um, but right now there are, there are already a lot of options as it is and there's always they're always adding more so yeah it's pretty simple. Once you uh, get everything the way you want it, you just go down here and press render. Obviously, this is rendering in real time from Blender, so it's going to take some time, and it's going to be processor intensive. Um, on my 2.4 gigahertz Core i5, for these, some of these more simple ones, like the Defocus, uh, it takes about 10 minutes to render. And on some of the more advanced ones, where text is flying around and stuff, um, it takes about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to render. Uh, with 20 minutes being the latest, the longest wait time I've had so far on this Core i5. So yeah, it will take a while, and um, it really all just depends on your hardware. And once it's rendered, it'll show up in your project files window, and you can just drag it in and use it like any other normal uh, image. But it'll be an image sequence, is what it renders it as. Anyway, hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, drop me a comment. Um, I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can.